Вот он ночной прилет нахуй. Нихуя въебала вас пизда тут просто. Вот. Дырки нахуй. Шары какие-то, я хуй знаю. Хуя это железо так пробивает. Че, вайника тут ебать так? Ну пизда вас. Заебись людей не было просто. Ну хуеть. Но она объебала такая, готова до нашего лагеря вас достала прийти. Смотри. Людей недавно везли вот с этих палаток. Смотри, что творится. Нихуя у нас веселуха сегодня была пизда ночью. Гасились нахуй по блиндажам, по хуежам. Смотри, вот палатки живут. Просто пиздец. Я хуй знаешь. Нихуя тут просто. Ч тут ебал, я хуй знаю. Пиздец. Блин, не горит, да? Блядь, тебе давно. Ну, честно, вот такая хуйня. Сами палатки тоже пострадали. Бля, благо вы людей, живут. И да. Вот этим двум палаткам точно сразу минусы были до нас. Вот видишь, эти палатки тоже поразъебал. Тут он поразъебал тоже. Не поразлетал вообще нахуй. Ебать, вот видишь, эти внутри тоже позацепило нахуй. Ебанус нахуй. Хуй его знает, что будет. Ну, эти более-менее вроде. Короче, вот такая вот хуйня тут происходит у нас. Вроде в России все спокойно. Хуй там плавал. В доме получается вот обгорел шкаф, вот эта стена, то, что у нас на вешалке было, микроволновка и колонка. Ну, остальное просто залили водой. Вот так как-то. А ну, это сплавилось. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban said on Friday during a radio interview in Budapest that if US President-elect Donald Trump had won the US election in 2020 there wouldn't have been a war in Ukraine. People say a lot of things about Trump, including people who don't like him, but there's one thing that no one questions, which is that he does not launch wars, Orban added. He added that, strong leadership from the US would have ended the war in Ukraine. During his campaign, Trump said he could end the war in Ukraine, now well into its third year, in a single day. Ukraine and many of its European backers fear that this means a peace on terms favorable to Russian President Vladimir Putin and involving the surrender of territory. European allies in NATO hope to convince Trump that if he helps to negotiate any peace, it should be done from a position of strength, for both Ukraine and the US. Orban, widely seen as having the warmest relations with Putin among all EU leaders, has routinely blocked, 
delayed or watered down EU efforts to extend assistance to Kiev and to sanction Moscow over its war. He has consistently pushed for a ceasefire but without detailing what it would mean for Ukraine's statehood or territorial integrity, or the potential security implications for Europe and the United States. Azután történnek, hogy Donald Trumpot ismét megválasztották az Amerika. A háború két évéről beszélek, és azt is mindenki tudja, hogy ha 2020-ban Donald Trump nyert volna az Egyesült Államokba, akkor ez a két év, ez a, ez a Lidérc nyomásos két év meg sem történt volna, nem lett volna háború, mert lett volna olyan erős vezetője Amerikának, aki kellő időben megkötötte volna a szükséges megállapodásokat. Ez elmaradt. A kormányfői folytatják a megbeszéléseket. A tárgyalásoknak külön. A fronton a helyzet nyilvánvaló, tehát katonai vereség van. Az amerikai ki fognak szállni ebből a háborúból. Egyszerűen is nem fogják bátorítani a háborút, nem fogják azt mondani, hogy a háború jó dolog. Donald Trumpról sok mindent szoktak mondani, azok is, akik nem kedvelik. De egy dolgot senki sem kérdőjelez meg. Ez pedig az, hogy ő nem indít háborút. Orbán Viktor miniszterelnököt. Former NATO commander General Ben Hodges said that he does not rule out war with Russia in a few years. However, a conflict cannot be ruled out and its probability largely depends on us. Firstly, on preparation, because preparing for such a conflict is absolutely correct. This is the basis of effective deterrence. We must be able to show. Secondly, support for Ukraine is also extremely important. As long as we do not allow Ukraine to fall, we will not have to expect a war with Russia, he stated. When asked how the election of a new president in the US might affect Europe, he said Kamala Harris was the best option. It is true that Trump cannot withdraw from NATO because the administration has already taken steps to protect itself from that option. But Trump can take other actions. Kamala Harris is a guarantee of aid to Ukraine and of NATO stability. He was also asked whether Europe would be able to defend itself against Russia without the help of the United States. Of course, just look at the basic statistics on economic and demographic potential. The European NATO countries are many times larger than Russia. The potential here is definitely huge. However, to use it effectively, you need will. And that is the problem, because so far I do not see a strong enough will in Europe. To create it, we need responsible and strong leaders who can convince societies to unite and understand what a threat Russia represents. He answered, according to the general, while Ukraine is defending itself, Russia has no chance of gathering forces to attack a NATO country. Ukraine has been at war with Russia for 10 years, since it started in 2014. The Russians had many advantages over Ukraine. They used everything they could, and we are in a situation where they can control only about 20% of its territory. They have suffered huge human and technical losses, and their economy functions only thanks to the support of China and India, which buy Russian raw materials. If the West had supported Ukraine in full force, this war would have ended last year. We could have seriously supported Ukraine so that it would win, and not like now, just so that it does not lose, he answered. <laughs>